what is up everybody we are going to be doing some gear crafts today so i've been saving up my gear my gear crafts for quite a bit now and i think i can craft close to 20 ish gears and so hopefully i can get a good variety to show you whether i'd keep the stuff or where i'd just throw it in the dumpster and uh so basically as i'm crafting gear here i'm just gonna tell you what i keep it what i not keep it and then uh tell you why I'd keep it, maybe who I'd put it on, and then at the end of this video, I'll actually show you um, some of my units and how I geared them and everything. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so Epic right off the top. This is a HP set. With an HP set, you're obviously gonna just wanna put them on tanks. I would 100% go ahead and keep this. It doesn't have the faction bonus, but who really cares? Um, We'll put this on pretty much anybody who's a tank, and they'll succeed with this armor and do perfectly fine with it. Moving on. Uh, so maybe I'd put this on a horde unit as just like a holder set, but it is a plus two horde. But besides that, I probably wouldn't do much with this. I'd probably just go ahead and toss this to the side or discraft it. That way I can upgrade some other gear. Another green, probably just throw this one to the side as well. Um, I don't think I would keep this at all. I like to just... Oh my goodness gracious. We got the gold. And it has a horde affinity. This is awesome. This is a great piece of gear for a horde tank. Um, oh no, sorry. This is actually a good one for a horde support. So I don't really know who exactly this would go on. But it's a pretty decent piece of gear and uh i think maybe this could go on shaman is shaman nature shaman's probably nature right let's go ahead and check this out um oh no shaman is shaman is actually horde so i don't know why i thought he was nature but yeah this would be an amazing piece of gear for shaman just because he's a healer healers i usually like to put um that buffing set on that helps your other team so i'm gonna go ahead and slap this right on him and we'll upgrade that stuff later that's so good for shaman um let's get back into our gear crafts though so oh my god back to back legendary gear guys um my clan is always like you have so much legendary gear and i'm like bro i'd swear i'm just lucky i swear i'm just lucky <laughs> and hopefully with this video i can prove that to them but this is an attack set uh, it will be getting that bonus after using your ultimate skill. Pretty much any any attacker will be putting this set on. Um, it'll be getting bonus crit rate, and it's pretty easy, pretty simple. You know what I mean? It, it's not very hard to figure out how you should gear people in this game. I'm just doing this video to try and help people out just a little bit. And back to the garbage. So, uh, plus two, but I'd probably just throw it away. <laughs> it's another legendary gear bro are you serious all right so um <laughs> no faction this time but it does have hp and then it's uh i mean this is just tank gear right here baby this is what this is tank gear and then uh this is crap i probably wouldn't keep this uh yeah i probably wouldn't keep this i mean it has the horde faction on it but you could just slap it on somebody until you get something better because it does have the faction bonus um and it besides the set bonus it it works essentially the same the stats are kind of the same as epic gear um but you just don't get the stat bonus so anyways let's keep going um probably trash that's trash i get rid of that that's trash uh i mean you could maybe throw it on it's a plus one i guess and as a faction but to be honest i would just throw this away I'm to the point where I don't need these, so... And we're back at it again with the thick armor. So this is just tank gear, pretty simple, pretty easy, straightforward. Uh, anything that reduces damage, or increases, I guess, damage reduction is great for tanks. So you just slap this on any tank, and because it doesn't have the faction bonus, you can slap this on literally any tank, and it'll do its job and do great. And that's really all you need to know. Um... As, again, the Horde, maybe keep it, but yeah, I'd throw this away, I'd throw that away, I'd throw this away, and I'd throw that away. Um, I do have a couple more crafts for you guys, but I did 
level up my blacksmith, which is pretty nice. But I have my daily and my weekly. That's partly why I did this video, so I could take advantage of those. And we got two more crafts. Uh, yeah, I would just throw both of those away. Don't even worry about it. It's easy. Um, but yeah, anyways, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the heroes. So let's get into it. What is up, everybody? We're going to be going ahead and talking a little bit about gear and gear sets at the second part of this video after our gear crafts, like I said I would earlier in the video. So I want to cover this super fast. I don't want this video to be long. We're going to be covering stuff pretty quickly and moving on. So first things first. Gear on the left side is attack based. So if you're using an attack unit, you want to max that first. If you're using a tanky unit, you probably want to go ahead and max the gear on the right because that is going to be giving you your HP bonuses, so on and so forth. With an attack type unit, you're going to be wanting to use this set after releasing the ultimate skill, critical hit rate increase by 15%. Pretty solid, pretty straightforward, pretty obvious. Um, then we have our tanks. With the tanks, you're going to be using... When HP is below 50%, damage reduction is increased by 30% for 10 seconds, triggers once every 15 seconds. Pretty solid, pretty decent. Uh, obviously, if it has self-healing, this is going to be even better because you can get back above that 50%. And obviously, you have to wait 15 seconds before it triggers again. But it's just very nice, very decent gear. And of course, what else are you going to put on tanks? Then we have the support gear. So, four-piece uh, after releasing the ultimate skill from the units, gain 10% damage increase for 10 seconds. Notice that this does not have a cooldown. So you can put this set on multiple people and get this bonus every time you ultimate. And if you have a unit, even if they're maybe an attack unit, maybe if they're a tank unit, if they ha if you have a unit that has an ultimate skill on like 10, 15 seconds, something that low, this is a great set to put on them. Like Headhunter has a fort, like Headhunter has a 14 second cooldown on his ultimate skill might be worth just throwing this set on him because you get that bonus every 14 seconds there's basically four seconds where you're not going to have that bonus um anyways so keep in mind some units can hold different sets they don't necessarily have to hold like if they're a damage dealer they have to hold attack set if they're support or i guess if they're jesus i'm losing it if they're support they have to wear the support set if they're tank they have to wear the tank set keep in mind to be a little bit more open than that people like i said you know the headhunter has a low cooldown so you could maybe throw the support set on him um the warlock while he can be a support you can also maybe throw the damage dealer set on him because he has some pretty decent damage but he also has buffs so he probably wants to be a support um but yeah i mean it's pretty straightforward uh my favorite thing of like could he could not is the watcher i feel like the watcher could hold a um tank set pretty well because he has a counter attack so you want him to be pretty tanky you might even be able to throw him into the front line make him a little bit tanky and he'll naturally do decent damage with his gear and he'll be pretty tanky he self heals he could be a monster of a unit later in the game especially once you get some moons into him so just keep in mind, use your brain while you're uh, building these, but that's pretty much the coverage of how everything works. If they're an attack type unit, put a tank set on them. If they're a tank, put the tank set on them. If they're a support, put the support set on them, and I'm sure you'll be doing fine. I recommend not keeping greens unless you're super early into the game. I recommend blues. If they have an affinity for a certain faction, go ahead and throw those on just as a placeholder until you get better gear. Purple. Keep that stuff. It's always going to be useful until you're way, way, way late game. And gold, obviously, why would you ever get rid of it until you're literally, unless you're a literal whale? Because whales could potentially get faction type gear. But as you, a normal player, it's going to take you probably years to replace gold gear that doesn't have a faction affinity. So anyways, I hope that helps you guys out. I hope it's simple enough for you guys. And I will talk to you all later. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the video.